Sometimes celebrities fail to say or do the right things, and because their lives are in the spotlight, there's no running away from their mistakes. The only option left for them is to face the music and apologize. And with today's day and age, fans and unhappy followers alike will make sure you don't get away with even the slightest wrongdoing. With platforms like Twitter and Instagram, celebs have no excuses for not taking the time to say I'm sorry publicly, for the whole world to see. In today's video, we take a look at the actors who had to own up to their actions on social media. Take a minute to subscribe to the channel and turn that little gray bell red if you hope to be notified when we post juicy news. Wendy Williams Williams, an American TV show host, faced backlash when she mocked Hollywood leading man Joaquin Phoenix. Fans and even other celebrities alike were not impressed at all with the host's comments and didn't hide their disapproval of her terribly insensitive joke. Phoenix is one of the world's most beloved actors. Every film he stars in always leaves us wanting more. Remember his oh-so-sexy portrayal of Johnny Cash in Walk the Line? Who could ever forget that smooth southern draw? Or the awkwardly wonderful Theodore in her, those beautiful piercing eyes? His out-of-this-world talent is something that always keeps us coming back for more. So you would be completely surprised if anyone had anything bad to say about the dashing actor. But sadly, Williams did. Following his success in the critically acclaimed Joker, Williams had a segment on her self-titled show where she took some time to give the actor praise. Or was it really just insults disguised as admiration? You'll have to take a look for yourself. And when he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hairline yep. fracture. He's got one of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lip, yep. cleft palate. Yep. He's, he's got yep. this, yep. he's got this. Uh -huh. No, I find, it to be, I find it to be very attractive. <laughs> Did she just make fun of a condition that many people, including children, suffer from? Sure she did, and famous singer Cher wasn't entertained at all and responded to it with a tweet saying, You should be fired. After a week of campaigning for the star to make an apology, one tweet caught her attention. An offended player of the Canadian Football League shared, I have a cleft lip and palate, and so does my son who was just born. Her actions are hideous and offensive. Promoting bullying with her platform? That's irresponsible. But it was a post that followed about his son going in for surgery that sparked a response from Williams. We're thinking about Bo today as he is in surgery, she replied. I want to apologize to the cleft community, and in Bo's honor, our show is donating to at Operation Smile and at AmeriCleft Palette, and encourage our Wendy watchers to learn more and help support the cleft community. I'm very persnickety about how I do my show. And one thing that I can tell you right now is that I never do the show in a place of malice. Although the doting dad accepted the apology, the fuming Cher did not buy it. F*** her apology. She wants to keep her job, the singer angrily shared. The scorned actor had nothing to say at the time, but later explained that his mark was not a surgical scar, but rather something he was born with. Well, either way, we still love it, and he should remain completely confident about his appearance, with no worries of being mocked again. Vanessa Hudgens Hudgens went from one of the most loved Disney stars to the most hated person on Instagram. With a show like High School Musical, which was all the rage for millennials and Generation Z, the actress had a solid support system from a little bit of both, the old and new generation. But she quickly lost the love after making an insensitive joke about COVID-19 patients. You would think she spoke about the tragedy of people losing their lives, or those who lost their jobs at such a complicated time. But instead, the actress complained that quarantine lasting until June is quote, a bunch of bullshit. And if that wasn't enough to make fans angry, Vanessa went on to say this. Right. But like, it's a virus, I get it, like, I respect it, but at the same time, like, even if everybody gets it, like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like, inevitable? It goes without saying that people immediately called out the actress for her behavior, with some saying, what an ignorant person. Obviously, she hasn't got any elderly parents slash grandparents, or if she does, she has no love for them. Doesn't she have any feelings for any human being? With others assuming she was in an intoxicated state of mind, with comments like, don't tweet when high, and are you drunk? And others chimed in to point out that Hudgens was more concerned about being at Coachella and going about her celebrity lifestyle than being safe and caring about those around her. I love music festivals, I really do. 
Um, I live for the summers of festivals. One user was really offended by Vanessa's irresponsible comment. She pointed out the major concerns the virus had caused by letting the actress know why the pandemic is not something to take lightly. It's people losing their jobs, small businesses closing. It's about lack of supplies. Think about the elderly, cancer patients, people at risk, the user shared. It's hard to think about something that won't affect you directly, but think about others who aren't so lucky. After all the criticism over her comments, the actress took to Instagram to issue a video apology that many found to be insincere and lacking accountability. Hey guys, so yesterday I did an Instagram live and I realized today that some of my comments are being taken out of context. Um, it's a crazy time. It's a crazy, crazy time. Later in the day, the actress followed the apology with another one on Twitter for the insensitivity of her words and the inappropriate behavior she had shown. She said it was a wake-up call for her. It sounds like the second act actress learned her lesson the hard way. And let's hope we can all find it in our hearts to give her a second chance. Okay, we gave you some ladies, but there are some male celebs out there who also had to learn right from wrong. Terry Crews You may know this funny and outspoken actor from multiple shows, including Brooklyn Nine-Nine, where he plays a hilarious lieutenant. But the show that made people question his character was the much-loved and long-standing America's Got Talent. When actress Gabrielle Union was asked to be a judge on the show, she was not aware that she would spend most of her days feeling uncomfortable on the TV set. In November, the actress left the show due to racist and sexist issues. But what we should never be shocked with, and, and what I hope that people take away, is the more that we stand up and, and, and speak out, for injustice anywhere and everywhere. Many celebrities, including Deborah Messing, supported Union, but it was Terry who was silent throughout the whole matter. After receiving backlash for not commenting or showing support on the matter, the actor took to Twitter to protect himself. He denied ever receiving racist treatment on the show and made no mention of the sexist concerns Union had brought up. He sealed this off by saying there is only one woman on earth, that he needs to please, and Union clearly wasn't her. That was never my experience on America's Got Talent. In fact, it was the most diverse place I have ever been in my 20 years of entertainment. Many fans, including Union herself, hinted at the possibility of the actor trying to keep his job by helping the channel disregard her claims, she shared. The only thing I know for sure is that Terry Crews gets three checks from NBC. After some time, Crews realized his mistake but it was a little too late for the actress. He took time to apologize for, quote, invalidating her experience. When that apology wasn't enough, he followed it up with another one for, quote, not recognizing the privilege I have, especially in the workplace. I had to understand that I'm looking at this thing from a lens of male privilege, where men and women are treated differently on sets. When you're wrong, you gotta just say, hey, I apologize, I'm sorry, let me get back in here and let's do this right. But Union was determined to give him a taste of his own medicine by remaining silent to his apologies, as he did when she needed him most. But she did share her feelings on his lack of support in a recent podcast. I think Terry Crews is showing us who he is and what he does during times of adversity and it's not solidarity. The comment triggered the regretful actor to try and once more atone for his wrong. He took to Twitter to apologize for the third time and made it known that if a fourth one is needed, he will be issuing apologies until he's able to find reconciliation for his actions. But again, Union was not available for the comment. Will the Bring It On star ever put this one behind her? We'll have to wait and see. Chase Stokes the rising Netflix star from the show Outer Banks learned that not everything fades with time when his old offensive tweets resurfaced. The young actor made some nasty remarks that did not sit well at all with marginalized groups such as people with disabilities and the LGBT community. The actor didn't deny his faults and issued a long written apology captioned, I am flawed and I'm sorry. Before fans could even take the time to dwell on the actor's regretful words, the apology as well as his previous insensitive tweets, disappeared from his account. The young star put the blame on Facebook hackers, claiming that he is doing all in his power to take control of the situation. But most users did not buy the story, with one telling him, I have to give it to you. This is the most confusing apology I've ever seen. Lastly, we have Tyra Banks. 
The gorgeous supermodel was the host of the hit show America's Next Top Model. Although the show was centered on taking ordinary girls and making them supermodels, some of the motivation was misdirected. Things that seemed okay during the show's run were severely criticized in today's day and age. A video surfaced of the model making fun of one of the contestants for not wanting to close her tooth gap. So Danielle, you went to the dentist, but you refused to have your gap closed. Do you really think you can have a CoverGirl contract with the gap in your mouth? Yes, why not? This is all people see. It's easy to read beautiful CoverGirl. It's not marketable. But later in a newer season, when the gap tooth was considered a trend, the actress encouraged another contestant to further widen the space between her teeth. Unlike most celebs, Tyra did not dodge the criticism, but immediately took responsibility for her past actions. Been seeing the posts about the insensitivity of some past America's Next Top Model moments, and I agree with you. The model shared, Looking back, those were some really off choices. Appreciate your honest feedback, and I'm sending so much love and virtual hugs. Well, virtual hugs right back at her, and we hope in the future other stars can face the ridicule for their mistakes without putting up a fight. You're beautiful, and I'm not talking about a physical feature. It doesn't matter if you have a gap, stacked teeth, straight teeth, it matters not. It doesn't matter if you're black, brown, white, indifferent, other. It doesn't matter. What makes you beautiful is in here. What did you think of these stories? Do you think people should be held accountable for mistakes they made in the past? What do you think about stars when it comes to them being insensitive? We want to know all your comments, so don't be afraid to share them. And more importantly, don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.